Thank you. I'm Mr. Lanner, and welcome back to Mr. Lanner's Math Extravaganza. We take a look at Investigation 2.4 today and how to actually interpret graphs. I'm actually sporting some old school hazel green wear. Their shirt was actually here before I was. Kind of weird. Interesting. We'll call it a throwback. Let's take a look at an example problem up here on how to interpret graphs. Uh, this is actually problem 12 from your CMP homework in Investigation 2. And we're going to take a look at exactly what, are this, what does this mean to interpret graphs. The graphs below show five patterns for the daily sales of a new video game as time passed after its release. Match each the time and the sales graph with the story it tells. So remember back to investigation one. Talk about the bike tours and how to go through that. We looked at graphs, we looked at tables, we looked at written notes or stories. So a story can match with the graph with uh, exactly what's happening. And each one of these, A, B, C, D, and E, actually match with one of the graphs. These graphs tell a story, and these stories tell about the graph. Kind of weird, they both go together. Interesting. I'm actually going to do you guys a favor. I'm going to do the first one for you. Let's take a look. We have graph one, kind of almost looks like a little mountain. Graph two, just kind of goes down. Graph three almost kind of looks like a skateboard, like if I was going down the ramp and then shooting up, or a ripstick, or whatever it is you guys uh, ride around on today. Uh, this kind of looks like I'm running up a hill. I don't know, I don't want to do that. And this one looks like a, I'm thinking like a thin wire, or a, you know, the guys that walk across that line, across the Niagara Falls and stuff, a little tight, uh, tight wire or tight rope, or whatever that's called up there. Kind of looks like that to me. So each one of these we're going to match with a uh, story down here. Question A says, the daily sales decline at a steady rate. Hmm, so I'm looking at the sales here of uh, video games, and I want to find out, hmm, well, how can they decline at a steady rate? Well, steady means it goes the same each time, and decline means it's going down. So graph two would be correct. If I look at graph two, this goes steady. It goes starts up high, and it declines, it goes down. That tells me that the daily sales decline at a steady rate. So A would match with graph two. All right, you guys have this next job for you guys. You're gonna figure out the daily sales did not change. The daily sales rose rapidly, then leveled off, and then declined rapidly. The daily sales rose at a steady rate, and the daily sales dropped it rapidly at first, and then at a slower rate. So go ahead, pause the video and we'll see which, if you're able to, match the graphs with the stories. Okay, let's take a look at the second one up here. It says the daily sales did not change. Well, what does it mean if we don't change? Well, if you don't change, it means you stay the same, you're even keel. Graph five is gonna match with B. Yeah, I know you guys got that one, right? You're like, easy peasy, you got that. Exactly, it stays exactly the same, it's very consistent. Um, I talked about in the last video, like the break even point, how it's like at zero, you're even. Same thing here. Uh, the daily sales did not change, so it stays right in the middle, it's the same. So that was graph five with B. Then let's take a look at C. The daily sales rose rapidly, then leveled off, and then declined rapidly. That's a little interesting. So they rose, they went up at first, then they kind of became even, and they declined very fast. Well, if I look at these up here, Graph one is gonna match with C because the daily seals, daily seals, yeah, we're talking about seals up here, Mr. Hunter, what are you talking about? The daily sales rose rapidly, so they went up very fast, then they leveled off, so then it kinda of like stayed the same for a little bit, and then it declined rapidly or very quickly, boom, it dropped down. So C is gonna match with graph one. All right, good, we're three for three so far, and you guys are two for two at home, awesome. D, it says the daily sales rose at a steady rate. Well, I'm down to graph four and graph three, so I'm still looking at these two, and I have the daily sales rose at a steady rate, and I have the daily sales dropped rapidly at first and then at a slower rate. Well, as I think about this, if they rise at a steady rate, that means it's kind of going the same rate, and rise or increase means to go up, so graph four is gonna match with D because the sales continue to go up. And if I was a video game manager or business owner, I might like this graph a lot because it's showing that my sales might start off slow at first, but now as it goes throughout the weeks, it's going to be a steady increase all the way uh, throughout. So that's what you want to see. You want to see increase 
steady rate all the way throughout rather than see, oh yeah, everything looks really great and then it stays the same and then, uh oh, boom, it drops off. Kind of like think of like silly bands or like the fighting rings or all those things we call them fads. They go, they go up really quick. Everybody wants them, everybody wants them. And then boom, they crash down. Uh, I don't even know what these are called, but those little rubber band, rubber band bracelets everyone was wearing early in the school year, everybody had to have them, had to have them, and then they start to kind of drop off a little bit. And then lastly, E. Uh, the daily sales drop rapidly at first, and then at a slower rate, that less of, leaves us with one less, uh, one left graph. I can't talk right today. Uh, so we take a look at graph three. It says they dropped rapidly at first, they drop rapidly, and then at a slower rate. So it still decreases, but now they're decreasing at a slower rate at the bottom, so graph three is gonna match the story in E. So a lot of times it helps for us to interpret graphs to make some connections and again to analyze for ourselves to make these correct decisions and here is a perfect example on a couple of these graphs to kind of match what the story tells in the graph. Sometimes I might be able to mix and match like this and sometimes you'll start to learn to make that uh, own connection on your own. As you look at the graphs in your head you'll be able to see ooh this is a really good thing for this business or maybe it's not a good thing for this business um, as we move forward. Thank you for turning into that retro throwback edition of Miss Miller's Math Extravaganza. As always, we'll see you next time.